All right, welcome back, guys. We are going to do a little bit of work, uh, some drawing. All right, so let's see how this works out. I hope it works out nicely for us. You're going to start by writing your full name. You guys will obviously write your proper name. Please br print the letters nicely in capitals. All right. Then we're going to look at how we would draw this three-dimensional diagram as an isometric view and as a first angle orthographic. All right, so if we start with the isometric view, I'm going to start with this little point over here. Put it about here on our page. Count one, two, three, four, five blocks. One, two, three, four, five blocks. Okay, it goes up two. It comes across one, two, three blocks. One, two, three blocks. And it comes down one. All right, so we got the beginnings of our front shape. I'm going to try to draw them in darkly so you guys can see them nicely. And there is the beginning of our shape. Right, it goes up one and up one. It goes down one and down one. And so we can start to fill in these lines. Hey, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Try and make it nice and dark. Hopefully you guys can see. Uh, one, two, three, four blocks. One, two, three, four blocks. Okay, there we go. One, two, three, four, five up. And one, two, three, four, five up. So there is our line. And we can begin to finish off that little face there. There's one, two, three, four, five, six into the background. One, two, three, four, six. And one, two, three. So let's see if we can draw in those lines nice and dark. There we go. One, two, three. Yeah, so if you're willing to take the time and one, two, three, and count the blocks, you should get this right every time. So we're basically copying that isometric shape block by block onto our page. Okay, come across two, because it's one, two, comes across down one, it does that whole step in, step in, step. Okay, so we're starting to fill in our little lines here. Sorry if I'm drawing it too dark. I'm just trying my best to make it visible. So you guys can actually see it on the video. Alright, we'll go in one. And down one over there. And finish off that little line going across there. Alright, so we've got that shape so far. That line we can extend as well. Finish off that top little piece. Alright, it's slowly coming together now. We have little points over there. Which go straight across this little kind of diamond shape if you like. There we go. And three across. All right. Now, it goes in one and up one. It goes in one and up one. All right. So let's see if we can draw those lines in nicely. Okay, I'm trying to go as quickly as I can for you guys so that we have a fairly short video here. All right. And last little line along the top there. And we pretty much should have 
a pretty close copy to that shape over there. All right, let's figure out now if we're drawing from A and we want to draw our first angle orthographic, then we need to draw that from the front. So our front view is always this top block here. So there's our front view. This little block on the side here is always going to be our left view. Notice our left view is drawn on the right hand side and it's coming in from that angle there. Okay, and then when we look down from the top, that's when we get our top view. Okay, so we're going to start right next to this slightly darker line here. Um, difficult to see a little bit, but there we're going to start right next to the axes there. One, two, three, four, five, six blocks across. One, two, three, four, five, six blocks across. It goes up a total of one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And it comes back all the way across again. So we get this basic rectangular shape to start with. Okay, there we go. Then from our rectangular shape, we've got a little cutout here that we can draw in. Okay, and then we've got two blocks across. And then this entire shape just goes straight to the top of the page, like that. We've got another set of two little blocks over here. Excelente. And this is just one block deep. So one block deep over there for us. This is again one block deep. So we're just going to go one block deep over there. And this one's another one. Okay, and we end up with the two blocks left at the bottom. So that's our front view. We're looking at this left hand side now. We should see this L shaped. It is one, two, three, four, five, six blocks across. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It's one, two, three, four, five blocks up. One, two, three, four, five blocks up. And this is where things are starting to get interesting now. Hey. Because we've got this basic L shape starting. Then it's one, two, three blocks across. One, two, three blocks across. And then we come down at an angle. Then we go down one. Okay. Then we go across one. Then we come down again at an angle. And finally, we finish off with those two blocks down on the end there. All right, so we're getting our profile of our left view going here. It's got a line coming down almost to the bottom here. There we go. And we are finishing off the shape nice and quickly. All right. There we go. So that's our general shape. It's got a little bit of a, a cutout here as well. Okay, and that back line just to join it in with that one there. All right, so that is our left view. Now, when we're looking from the top, we must remember that that, one, two, three, four, five, six, is our back. So six blocks across. It is one, two, three, four, five, plus that one there is another six blocks down. One, two, three, four, six. So now one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we get ourselves a almost a full square going here. It's got a bit of a cutout over there. If we look down from the top, that block is missing. All right, now we've got one, two, three across from here. It comes back two plus that one three, and actually we can draw it all the way down. Okay, we've got this little shape to worry about. It's two down and one in. So we got that shape going there. Excellent. And looking down from the top, we see one, two, three blocks, and then a line. 
we then see this surface over here okay we then uh, let's see sorry it's that surface we see first then it's that surface there we go, and then it's finally that surface that we see over there. All right, well, that is our isometric and orthographic projection. I hope that will help you. Thank you so much.